get Gigi in the house. Gigi in the house. I was gonna quit playing. I got I gotta quit, quit quit playing. But this 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 is what I gotta talk about today. <laughs> like pay. Uh liar liar. Been so fire. Y'all ever saw that movie? Well anyway, that's what I'm talking about today. About the liar liar. Oh yeah, the liar liar. But see, do you ever run into liars? I do all the time. But what about them liars that lie to you that you going with? I mean, the men's that you you call yourself beings with, and, and, and them significant others, and whatever you want. I don't know what you want to call them. Your man, mm-hmm, or oh, your significant other, your husband, your boyfriend, your mess around man. <laughs> you know, some of us got mess around men. <laughs> or oh, your um, your sugar daddy. My auntie used to have a sugar daddy. But I didn't know that then. I was just a little girl. But when I got grown, I'm like, who? My auntie had a sugar daddy. I didn't know that. I just know his name. We call him daddy. <laughs> oh, but let's get serious. Kati, you know how I is. I like to tell you the gospel gossip. Uh -huh, the gospel gossip. And if it's the gospel gossip, it is the truth. Mm-hmm. So, one thing I know about a liar is a lot, most of them, they demonstrate selfishness. Because most people, when they lie, they lie to say their butts. It ain't, all, it ain't about your butt, it's about their butt. And they try to say they butt, so they selfish, so they ain't thinking about what you keep doing and how it's going to hurt you. They ain't thinking about what you're thinking about. They talking about saving their tail, so so that means they selfish and, and they just not willing to sacrifice, honey. They ain't willing to sacrifice themselves for a long term relationship. Mm -hmm. And some of those that end up in a long term relationship, it because that that person that with them is allowing them to continue to lie, mm -hmm. liar, liar. And so fire. So, so this is what I propose. Instead of you letting them lie and lie to you, you gotta come sometime confront them because if you don't, they gonna keep on lying because they know they can. Shoot, I've been with folks like that, you know, and I knew they were lying, but I didn't say nothing. And they thought they got away with it. I'm looking at them like, for sure, they don't think they got away with that. For sure. They don't <laughs> tell y'all. For sure, they don't think I believe them. But what happens, you let them believe it. You let them believe that you believe that what they tell you, even though you know you don't. So, honey, child, I had this man. Let me tell you. I had this man that used to lie all the time. And we had some babies. And so, one day... I needed him to help me with something with the baby. I needed some things, some things for the baby. And he tell he was somewhere. I don't remember where he say he was, but I knew better. I knew he was over at the other woman's house. So I just got my little self up. I don't remember how I got there. I didn't even have transportation. I must have asked somebody. I don't know how I got there. I might have got the bus. I don't remember that part. It had been so long ago. But I do remember this part. I said, well, I'm going to go over to the girlfriend's house. <laughs> I guess you say, no, he, no, you didn't. I'm telling you the gospel gossip is the truth. I went over to her house. Yes, I did. I found my way to her house. <sighs> I knocks on her door, mm-hmm, and she opens the door. I say, hey, I need, I'm going to say his name. I ain't going to say his name on here. I say, I need to talk to my man. And she, huh? Because she, he her man, too. <laughs> Thank God we wasn't married. He her man, too, but she knew who I was. Mm-hmm, she knew all about me. She knew exactly who I was. She said, oh, okay, well, well, come on in. 
So I say, look, man, I need some things for this baby, and I just need you to give me some couple of dollars so I can go back. And you said, a teen, he face, y'all. Ooh, he was like, he looked over there at her, and then he looked over at me, and then he looked back at her, and then he looked at me, and he was like, this girl, I lost her mind. He, he, but you know what? He no act a fool. Cause now you you in the front of two of your ladies, so you don't know what to think when that happened. All I wanted was the money. I really didn't care what he was doing at the time. Just give me the money. So he, he reached in his pocket and he handed me the money. He was a little hesitant, but he handed it to me. And he looked back at her again. He looked at me and she said, well, now he didn't say nothing. She said, well, I, I, I hope that's enough. I said, oh, this is enough. So she said, well, you know, he's been really good to me and my baby because she had a baby by him too. <laughs> two of us had babies. I said, okay. Like I'm caring at that moment. At that moment, I'm just worrying about what I, what I needed at the time. So she said, well, um, uh, he, he's been good. I'm thinking to myself, I don't even care, lady. I just want to take care of my baby at this moment. At this moment, I don't have the finances. Just let me have the money. i see y'all later. Another time. Another place. And I looked at him. I said, well, i see you at home. Because he always come home at night. That's the crazy part. So I don't understand that part where women do that. But, you know, he had been lying to me. He thought I didn't know he was lying. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, you other women, we know better. We got, institu we got the intuition stuff going on. And so, you know, what he did know is I already mapped him out. I already knows where he was going. I, don't ask me how I know her address. You don't need to know all that. I just got it, okay? And I done that. And I went to do what I has to do. Because I has to take care of my child. That, that simple dad, I had more than one. But that time, pick the time I need time for that one. And so, I went on my merry ways. <laughs> Now, sometimes people think lying is okay if it's a small lie. But a lie is a lie is a lie. It don't matter. It's a lie. And something I always tell my tongues, whenever you do something in the dark, it don't always come to the light. That's just the gospel gossip. It's the truth, okay? So a lie is a lie. Sometimes people lie so they don't get caught. Hmm. They say they lie so they can make somebody feel better. They don't want to tell them the truth, so they lie to make them feel better. But it's really better to tell them the truth because it hurt more when you lie, especially when somebody knows you lie, and you know you lying too, and they know you lying, and you know they know you lie. <laughs> you ever been in that type of situation? Did you have? Mm -hmm. Did you have? But it's not good to lie to somebody you both to love. So you love somebody, you gonna lie to them? Mmm. That not good. That not good. You know, I try not to tell no lies, but I ain't gonna tell you that I ain't never told one. <laughs> because then I know I'll be lying. <laughs> we call them white lies. I don't know why we call them white lies instead of black lies. Hmm. But you know what? Black is supposed to be one of the most powerful colors in the universe. So, if you tell a black lie, that's a powerful lie, huh? But if you tell a white lie, then they say that's just a little lie. It don't hurt nothing. That's a lie. If I ever heard one, it do hurt things. It do hurt people's feelings when they know you lie. I don't care if it's a little bitty lie. You call it a little bitty lie. Ain't no such thing as a little bitty lie. Shoot. The truth is always better than a lie, y'all. Always better than lying. I'm just telling you. It's better. You know. <sighs> lying just ain't good. Period. It, I, I used to be married to, to, to the man. I mean, I've been married two, three times. Y'all really me to one, two, three times. Yeah, three times. Am I going to get married again? Well, I ain't going to lie to you and say I ain't. But I ain't going to lie until you say I am. Because I don't know. I don't know. Right now, I don't know. Right now, it ain't in the, it ain't in the, in the, in the making. It ain't in my vision. 
<laughs> so I ain't trying to go there right now. I, I like my peace right now. But I, I, I was married to the man, this man that I am. If you asked him a question, it was a simple little question. He had a lie for it, and I thought, so he's so used to lying, he think he got to lie about everything. And he didn't have to, because I'm one of them people. I don't like lies, but if you lie, I'm going to figure it out eventually. Even if I don't approach you, you know, that's how we women can be sometimes. We may not even approach the man, but we know he's lying. Mm -hmm. So that's why a lot of stuff happened where these women end up in different places with these men catching them with them other women. Because they already know the man lying. So they'll show up. <laughs> they'll show up somewhere and you be like, they may be like, why? Whoa. And you trying to figure out how she know about it. Well, man, we know you're lying. So in our mind, we, our first thing is, okay, he lying. Now I got to figure out why he lying. So we're going to investigate. <laughs> Yes, we are. We're going to investigate. Don't you know that? So, so that little white lie you told so you wouldn't hurt the woman's feelings because you didn't want her to know you don't. You did somebody else. I was looking at something on TV, talk show, and this man, uh, they was giving them lie detector tests, and they asked him, was he seeing somebody else? Now, he on the show, mind you, to meet another woman. And so they asked him, uh, are you seeing somebody else? And he said, yeah, I am. And they said, well, are you seeing more than one? And he said, yeah. He said, I think so. are you seeing two or three? And he said, yes. And they said, well, are you seeing more than four? And he said, yes. I was like, do I well know how are you going to go to want to meet somebody and you dating all these other women? So they asked him, how did he, these other women's, uh, feel about that? He said, well, I don't tell them. And they said, well, then, then you cheating on these women. He said, but I was a young man, and I don't want to sow my oath, but I like the answer that came after that they told him. They said, well, I want you to know this, that men like you who go to all these women, and then they hurt these women, and then they damage these women's, and then when it's time for men like you that want to get married to a good woman, well, then all that's left is the damaged women. And then what you going to get? You going to get one of them damaged women that been treated like the women you've been treating the same way. And they said, whatever goal comes, goes around. So you, it's going to come back on you. And he was like, huh? He didn't take her that before. So that was some good, some good education. That when you out damaging people, then... You have to understand that the next the good person that come around who wants a good relationship, they got to deal with the damaged thing. That damaged woman or that damaged man because that liar, liar that come along and damage their heart. See, so that what I got from that. Mm -hmm. So it ain't good to a lot of people. It ain't good to hurt their feelings because you think you protecting them when you're not really protecting them when it's better to tell them the truth so they don't be looking at you like you crazy and knowing you lie. Mm -hmm. Like somebody believed that mess. Hmm. We might say we believe, but we really don't. <laughs> We just say that. I guess we lied too, trying to make sure your feelings ain't hurt. Ain't that crazy? The liar's lying to you. And you lied to the liar, so you don't have to hurt the liar's feelings. But the liar is lying to you, and they ain't worrying about your feelings. They worrying about getting caught in their situation and how you gonna react to it if they tell you the whole truth and nothing but the truth. <laughs> oh, Lordy, I tell you. I tell you what, that's gonna take me a break. If you're tired of hearing the same music and content every 5, 10, or 15 minutes on air, then check out JQLM Radio for the realest, rawest, and most relevant variety of music, talk shows, and more. Start your days with a little bit of gospel and gospel rap from 4 a.m. to 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All of my life, i never known you to fail. You deliver me. Cause all I see to do is huh. Coming to break it down with that wiggity wiggity style Man, we really be living it out, I don't miss it huh.
then get into some hot R&B. Some hip hop. A little bit of pop. And some Neo Soul for the rest of the day. JQLM Radio, real, raw, and relevant. Well, I was back. <laughs> oh, Lord, me. You know what? We were talking about liar liars. Mm-hmm. And they uh they they don't want to tell the truth because they want to avoid your reaction. Let me tell you. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you. Yeah, there you are. They want to avoid how you gonna react today telling the truth. So they try to avoid your reaction. But what they don't understand that when they do that, they hurt and talking about his heart. Oh Lord. And they on they don't understand that they've been selfish, yes. And they don't understand that they're not willing to tell the truth. Well, we already know they they're not willing to tell the truth because they really not trying to commit to no serious relationship anyway. Cause this what I I I believe and I hope it's the truth. Mm -hmm. The gospel gossip, the truth is that a person that love you gonna talk to you with dignity. And they're going to tell you the truth. Always going to tell you the truth. They're not going to lie to you. And they're not going to try to hurt your feelings. Not on purpose. You know, sometimes we do get our feelings hurt even when they tell the truth. But that's not the goal. That's not the goal. They just want to be honest with you. And sometimes when somebody's honest, it might be a little too blunt. Whew, but it's better to know the truth than to believe a lie. But who wants to believe a lie? I done seen it happen too many times. And so, yeah, I have tried to help friends before. And, and, and so one of, these, one of these days, I did this one of them days. I told a friend about her man telling another woman. Mistake, 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 mistake. And she said, what? I said, girl, I taught him with this other girl. And him and her was, was all hooked up. And they was in the club, and they was all hooked up together. And uh, and you can't tell me that what he took to, because he was with him, no, another woman. And she said, what? oh, my God, that, I can't believe that, because he told me he was going somewhere else. Well, he did go somewhere else, somewhere else you didn't know nothing about. But do you know uh, that that girl went back and told him what I did? And he told her I was lying. No good way I wasn't lying. He told her I was lying. That I did not see him with another woman. And that woman that he was talking to was his cousin. And they were talking because she was having some problems. Now listen folks. Ain't no man gonna be hooked up in a dark corner with his woman. With he I'm sorry, not with he with his cousin. That was his woman, other woman. But it wasn't he cousin. Number one, I know more than he cousins. <laughs> so I knew that wasn't a cousin. But, but then she told him that, that my number one priority in my mind was, I ain't telling that you nothing else. Because if she going to go tell him, and then he going to try to make me out to be the liar, and make me out to be the one that's messing up his, his, uh, his relationship, which I ain't because he is, I learned from that. Don't say nothing. Just pray that they will be revealed. <laughs> That's all you got to do? Okay, God, reveal this because I can't tell them anything, but you reveal it. So I don't do that no more. No, no. Because then what they start doing is they tell their women, you can't hang with her. Because she lied on me. And you know good well you didn't. But he know that if he get caught doing something else, and she did, she might tell you again. 
But T, my mind was made up. I wasn't telling her nothing. So he didn't have nothing to worry about. I wasn't going to do that no more. That That's just something that I had to learn. And sometimes we all have to learn. I heard these ladies say, I got to tell my friend what her man is doing. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because what don't happen is they're going to get mad at you. And then she going to be mad at you for telling her that. And, and all that good stuff. And yeah, they get mad because you don't tell them too. But if you don't know, you don't know. Just shut your mouth. And you don't know. Don't get them no information because then it's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt you, period. Because like I said, they're going to hold you accountable for telling the truth. And that's so darn crazy. It's just darn crazy. But she in love. And so when she in love, guess who she gonna believe first? And darn straight. You darn skizzy cat. <laughs> she gonna believe him. Because mm -hmm. her heart won't let her believe nothing else. Because her heart is there with him. And that's where her want to be is with him. So... You just another woman, another woman friend, and you can't do for her what he does for her. So you going to be kicked to the curve. <laughs> yeah, that real tough. That real talk. That real stuff. And that real life. That really happens sometimes to people. So, he going to always win, especially if she in love. Okay? If she in love with him, he going to always win out because he got her wrapped. And he got her where he want her. And he got her understanding the way that he want her to understand. Because, honey, he going to be like, he going to be lovey-dovey and say, baby, you know I wouldn't do that to you. Y'all know how they do. Baby, you know I couldn't treat you that way. Baby, I don't have time to be cheating on you with another woman. I got a life. I got bills to pay and I need to go to work. And you know, I got. I love you more than anything in this world. Mm. That what he did. And what do she do? Well, baby, that's what they told me. And I, I just want to be sure that that was not you. I just want to make sure you telling me the truth and not a lie. And he'll look her straight in the eye and say, baby. I'm not lying to you. That was not me. It was not me. She thought she saw me, but it was not me. And then she all smiles and now, oh baby, I'm glad that wasn't you, baby. So baby, I believe you. Your friend no good and well, that was him. He no good and well. That was him. <laughs> but he gonna make you believe it wasn't him. Now, a good liar, mm, they know how to lie good. I remember when I was a kid, and you know how you want to, you don't want to tell your mamas all the truth all the time. But I used to get in that mirror, and I would practice my expressions. <laughs> so if I had to tell a lie, I would make sure my expressions look like the truth. <laughs> Now, how much sense do that make? I don't know, but that's what I was thinking. I want to make my, my lie look like a truth. <laughs> well, do you know he wants his lie to look like the truth? Uh, duh. He made the lie look like a truth. And you looking at him, and he's looking at you all pitiful with them pleading eyes, you know. And saying, baby, it wasn't me. And you break all down. Like, okay, baby, I believe you. And he like, oh, thank you, baby. I'm so glad you believe me. Yeah, that means he ain't got to worry about it no more. Not for right now, anyway, until the next lie come along. Then he got to worry about that lie. But he ain't going to tell you that he with another woman because he already know what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. You going to flip out. You going to cry. He don't want to deal with you crying. Because why? It'll make him feel guilty. <laughs> he don't want to feel guilty because he did something he wasn't supposed to do. So, he don't want to feel guilty. He sure don't want to see you trying because that make him hurt because he know he should have done better. So, he won't do all that. Ooh, 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 you did he don't want to deal with it. 
So he tell you a lie. Because he don't want to deal with all that. And so the lie helps him. Yep, that's what he think. He think the lie helps him. But you know what? All that lie, it catch up with you after a while. Because then he tell one more lie. Yeah. And then after that, another lie. And the reason why, because they think you gullible, and because you always believe them, so surely you're going to believe, but one day, one time or another, it's going to catch you up with them. You know why? Because a lot of times, when somebody lying about something, the person they lying to will end up walking into them somewhere with the lie. <laughs> Yeah, they go walk into the to the person you lied about, and you ten. Now you told me you wasn't with her, but then I done walked up on you on my own time, and I tell you with my own eyes, and you, that you with her, and he's like, but baby, baby, it ain't what you think. That's what they try to say. It ain't what you think. And then sometimes these girls know that you exist, and then sometimes they don't. And when they don't, they looking at him too. And you looking at him too. Cause you know that he done told you a lie. And she looking at him cause she know, she know nothing about you. <laughs> but the funny part is women are come together on that thing. Ooh, we like, girl, did you know? And she like, no. But did he tell you this? And she be like, no. And she be like, well, this is what he told me. And you be like, what? Say what? So a liar always get found out. Mm -hmm. And that's the gospel gossip, which means it's the truth. <laughs> so this is Gigi. Check it out. And don't try to hang out with them liar liars. Get away from the liar liars hurting your feelings and going on. You need all that. You don't need your pillars hurt. You don't need your life uh, damaged. And you don't need no broken hearts. And you sure don't need to be one of them damaged women's. Because that makes the next man's job kind of, kind of, kind of hard. No, pretty hard. Right? <laughs> Period. Cause he going to be like, what's wrong with her? I didn't lie. But she's so hurt that she going to believe that he lied because everybody else did. All right? All right. Well, anyway, y'all remember, don't deal with a liar. All right? Liar, liar. <laughs>